Hello everybody and welcome back. I have wanted to do a quick video today talking about a very underutilized tool that many people just aren't aware of. It never never clicked with me until just a few weeks ago or months ago. And I'm sure I'm not the only one to figure this out. So don't think I'm trying to act like I'm pioneering anything, but it just kind of came to me and I wanted to share it with you guys. So Anybody who's done orthodontics, and especially with the budding areas of sleep and airway, is then you know a lot more about the maxillary deficiency or intra that is really kind of prevalent in a lot of not only orthodontics, but also a lot of airway disorders as well. And this is going to, I want to tell you a little, little trick that helps the screening process for intermaxillary intermolar width. So, so first off, why do we even care about intermolar width? Well, if you've studied anything by Dr. James McNamara, who's one of my kind of orthodontic idols, he has a book, The Common Sense Mechanics. His second edition was awesome. It's colorized. I don't know if it's in print anymore. It can be kind of hard to find, but if you can get your hands on a copy, it's awesome. But he talks, he has a couple of really good articles about maxillary deficiency syndrome. And here's an excerpt in, from Current Therapy and Orthodontics pu uh, published in 2010. Science Direct has a great kind of overall view of inner, inner, uh, intermolar width that I think you could really benefit from reading and I will have a link at the end of this note at the end of this but he really kind of goes on to inspection of the maxilla and when your intermolar width is narrow under 31 millimeters the curve of Wilson is accentuated and so we know that that has issues with crowding and that that uh, sets up for also occlusal instability and so and then also a high vaulted palate and narrow palate its effects on airway and predisposing is people to issues with that and i can speak to that i have a very high vaulted palate a very uh narrow buccal corridor and then in another article published in the american journal of orthodontics and dentofacial orthopedics he goes on into the highlight area to show that typically a maxillary arch with transpalatal width of 36 to 39 millimeters on average can accommodate the size of the teeth and anything under 31 uh, may be crowded in need of orthopedic or surgically assisted expansion so as you can see on the on the right here i'm just measuring a random type of dot and sure enough it's inter, uh, intermaxillary width is about 38 39 millimeters so here i'm using a panadent ruler which is a great little tool and i think every dentist should have one it's awesome for for measuring opening vertical left right deviations it's good for measuring individual teeth it's good for measuring shimbashi i first found that out found out about that little tool from uh, clinical mastery i think back in 2014 i think david hornbrook helped develop it but anyways but that is not actually the tool that i'm talking about this is a chair side tool that every dentist is going to have so can you guess what it is what could possibly help screen for this intermaxillary width behold a standard cotton roll can you believe it something every dentist has and it's perfect for screening for this because it is 38 millimeters long a standard cotton roll as you can see here from by, uh, by shine down here you can see it's 3.8 centimeters 38 millimeters wide or long or however you want to say it and so that is perfect for screening just popping it up there in between the molars you can do it with your kiddos to see how they're growing to help track expansion and how the growth and development and see if they're going to need possibly expansion or not and so how cool is that something that every dentist has and we can predictably start 
screening our patients, both young and older, for their intermaxillary width. So I, I, I geeked out on it. I thought it was kind of cool and just kind of a, a light bulb moment. I wanted to share it with you. So hope you hope you guys enjoyed this little tidbit. Here's some links with some further reading. This isn't a comprehensive list by any means. It's just kind of what I showed in the video if you want to follow up on that. If you have any questions or shout outs, you can email me. I try to be as accessible as possible. Dr. Matt at yatesenterdental.com. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, or my YouTube channel. And then caveat, I do uh, help Blue Sky Bio with their programs. And I'm also an associate for uh, Garrity Orthodontic Seminar. So full disclosure there. You guys have a great day. Take care.